Welcome to Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy, your source for agronomy insights. Hello, everyone. This is John Colchin, field agronomist for DuPont Pioneer in Northern Illinois, reporting on Monday, July the 23rd. The Northern Illinois corn and soybean crop have been progressing very well above heat unit accumulation since our planting season started back in April. The corn crop is tracking about seven to 10 days ahead of normal at this point, but with the expected cooler temperatures over the next week or so, we'll uh, slow up the heat unit accumulation somewhat. The moderating temperatures are expected to have a positive effect on grain fill potential over the next couple weeks. Overall crop condition for corn and soybeans at this point is very good. If we could order up one more key weather ingredient, it'd be consistent levels of sunlight for both corn and soybean crop over the next month. Foliar disease potential, such as gray leaf spot in corn and septoria brown spot in soybeans, are at a higher level due to the increased moisture and humidity levels. Scouting and application where needed for foliar disease protection will continue over the next week or so. Fields will vary in the level of disease present and the need for treatment. Visiting with your local trusted advisor for additional information as suggested. You know, at Pioneer, we're excited to continue to use some of the newest tools for agronomy and crop scouting. One of those tools that's very good to work with is our latest in Circa imagery tool. The satellite imagery allows for accurate field assessment for positive, negative changes in the plant health throughout the field all season long. And Circa imagery allows for growers to get a satellite view of their field multiple times per week with accuracy and accountability for changing weather conditions. See your local Pioneer representative for more information and use for your farm within Circa imagery. We finish up the wheat crop harvest, uh, and that should be mostly complete in northern Illinois. And yields from our local reports and certainly some of our plots were about average with some fields certainly above average and then some below, depending on assortment of agronomic factors. Mostly weather and, and disease played a role as well. Northern Illinois growers will continue to monitor the 2018 crop progress and have plans in place for the start of harvest, which may end up a little earlier if the heat unit progress continues. Finally, talk with your local Pioneer sales representatives for all your product and agronomic needs. This has been John Colson, Pioneer Field Agronomist reporting for Northern Illinois. Work safe. That's it for this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy Podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.